Yeah. Reminds me a little bit of that Woody Allen movie, Small Time Crooks. Uh, yeah, story. I, yeah, I don't remember. I, I think I saw this movie, but I don't remember it. No, he's a gangster, but he yeah. and his wife open up. Yeah, the gangster store. also. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, your corner is an uh, HSA graduate, and uh, what's Who? your? Yeah. Let me ask the straight question. What's your exit uh, strategy? Are you going public? Uh, are you plan on selling to Nestle? <laughs> What's your next plan? <laughs> Wait a few days. <laughs> well, you know, it's, um, it's a common question. And um, uh, we always said that the brand, but the adventure, and what the adventure reveals has a huge potential and that our personal uh, position in the company is not a, is not a question. So we had a, a very nice shareholder now in the company, it's called Francois Pignot. Maybe you know him, he's, uh, he's uh, one of the most successful entrepreneurs in France, for I think 10 billion, so it's very, he's got 70% of the company. Uh, well, he's in family office, now with Patricia Barbizet, and we, we, we are very close. And uh, I think also, also yeah, maybe. sorry? Uh, Patricia, of course. Also, Patricia, yeah. of course. She's a, she's a, she's even a, she's she's a guru a little higher than you, but she's a, she's my guru also, <laughs> Patricia. And uh, and uh, we'll announce soon something uh, next step. It seems that you have a lot of success with social media. Have you ever thought of uh, crowdfunding and things of that nature to build the brand? Yes, but regarding uh, all the finance, it's not our direct. Uh, Talent, so we did it as we did it, so it was not too bad. But I think we could have we could have also in, innovated in this area, and we didn't. But uh, now we now it's too late. We're next. To the I want to put my um, I want to push the brand and the recipe all around the world. So I think the potential is really just in front of us, and we're going to do it. Uh, with this new announcement, and um, and my new business would be the sport area. I think one of the key issues to bring back all people living in the city practicing sports because it's really important for the health. So I want to do something in this area. I want to do something a mix between Uber, booking, and blah blah car, but regarding sports in cities because we need to move our. We, move to, we need to move ourselves uh, a lot, a lot more in cities, and that's a, a, a very big, big, big question for our society. Just making people move themselves. But it's going to be in a few years. Huh? Uh, it's still, uh, it's still waiting for me to bake some, uh, some cookies. <laughs> Yeah, so I think just one sort of quickly. I think um, I think we are a lot more creative now with uh, more than 100 uh, Kuti Club, as we said, like young employees in the company than we were just Michel and me at the beginning. Just because we pay so much attention to the people we hire, so, you know, creativity, just a question of personality. So we pay a lot of so just we hire the, uh, the good people. And for me, when we're going to be 1,000, it's going to be the case one day. I'm 100% convinced that we're going to be a lot better at 1,000 than at 100 now. Just a, just, just a question. You know, a company is just the reflect of who's working for. So paying attention to the people you hire, and if you hire someone not in good spirit, just uh, quit it. Quit it. Okay, thank you. And second, uh, I'm young, I'm French, and I have uh, much hope in Emmanuel Macron. Uh, so what is your vision if you go back to France for this revolution? Uh, I'm interested to know and if you could share your ideas or what you would like to do and how, because it's, as we see nowadays, it's very difficult to reform France. 
Yeah, you, so actually, I know very well Emmanuel Macron. He received me when he was working at uh, l'Elysee for uh, François Hollande, and uh, he received me because it was interesting in how we innovate in the shitty sector as a food industry, and he compared the food industry with the politics, saying it's a too traditional and historic sector with no innovation and huge actors spending uh, money and, and just trying to people hearing them. So it was a very nice discussion, and I saw him a lot of time after. And it's just a question of a deep, uh, uh, when the French people would understand there's no other choice but to do the reform, we do it. And I'm very convinced that it's, it's nearly the end of the game. And, uh, and I do a lot of, I'm, I'm spending a lot of time on meeting politics. And I think there's only three 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 personality can do something for the next election. It's Emmanuel Macron, and for sure it's going to run. Uh, François Fillon is a very, very, he's the only one who's got a very clever and deep project for France. But the guy, is, I received him last Monday, 10 years, 10 days ago at the Banana Farm, but the guy is completely depressed. So, but it's, it's very, it's very sad because the guy is, is, is he wrote such a nice um, project. He's got exactly the good analysis, the good reform, the good plans, everything. But the guy is completely depressing, so uh, he's, he's not going to be elected for sure. And the third one is, uh, is uh, Bruno Le Maire. He's very, very also energetic and very clever and a very good vision of what we have to do. So for me, my innovation would be to have a ticket or uh, how do you say, um, a job between uh, Fillon and Macron. That's my expectation since now one year, saying we should have uh, Macron and Fillon running together for president and prime minister for France. That could be the, that's the only way to save France for the next election is to have Fillon and Macron together. Yes? <clears throat> to follow up on what you were just talking about, as a business owner, what is your view of the struggle to reform the French labor sector with the proposals of the current government and the very fierce opposition that it has engendered? But the opposition, but the it's, it's, I think the syndicate, the how do you say syndicate? The, the unions, I think it's like within 3% of the French workers. So it's completely ridiculous what's going on in France now. And when the, the, the you know, who's responsible for what's going on in France? Who's responsible? It's the French population. So who elected the François Hollande? It's us. Who elected Nicolas Sarkozy before? It's us. So when the French population will understand that they are each of us responsible of what's going on, and so the fault of the president, of the union, of blah, blah, blah. When we understand that we have the power to change things in France, they're going to change. But can, can you understand that 3% of union, of, of, it's ridiculous. So for me, it's, uh, it's just, uh, just, we have everything to have a huge country in France, just a question of mindset. And the big difference between France and the US, I don't think people are clever, not at all. But here you have a huge mindset that everything is possible, and not in France, but things are changing now. And for sure, some, it's, it's really and nearly the end of the game. So it's gonna be just, you know, a revolution, you never know when, it's, when, it's, when she's gonna start, you, you can't even do a bet, but I'm sure He's going to, we're going to leave one soon. And I remember a question of a journalist in France saying, Guy, what do you want to leave before you die? And I deeply want to leave a French Revolution because we need it to save France. And France is going to, be, is going to do very well as soon as we're going to leave this next revolution. Just a question of mindset and understanding that we have the power as each French citizen to change the world. Yes, yeah, I have a question. Uh, so obviously, um, I am tempted to obviously share your story with uh, some of my friends who have written ideas but have been reluctant to um, put it into action. Um, so 
becomes if you are you know, if you get successful. But one of the main issues that many are facing is is, is financing. I mean, uh, it, it's a hard reality. You be driven by passion, uh, but behind that passion, you need to put uh, resources, human resources, and, and 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 financial resources. So I was wondering when you were trying to set up uh, or put in place these resources, and we're explaining that you were going to grow a, um, a cookie business. It must have been hard. So. Uh, if you could share maybe some thoughts on how you overcome overcome this this issue. Yeah. I never saw a bank for my entire life. Uh, one bank account, one credit card, like a blue or completely basic one. Uh, and if you can have money from a bank, tell me the secret. Don't think it's worth their job. Uh, and for us in France, there's a lot of money to invest. Just a question of people and project. And I remember when we we raised money just from the beginning from my kitchen, we had nothing, we had nothing. Just say, guys, I want to do a cookie business. You know, it's like kind of new cookie and new adventure. And only business angel. We had up to 40 business angels at the beginning. And just people bet on us because they see the passion and kind of vision. And when François Pinot arrived, uh, he bought through the 40 uh, business angels from the beginning. Everybody's really, really happy. Uh, what we're going to announce means that all our shareholders you know, are really, really happy also. Uh, and for me, there's a, lot of, there's a lot of money everywhere. And if you don't find money, for me, it's because the project uh, or the team is not good. And I see so many projects in France with a good idea, but a, not, a, not a supersonic team and a bad execution and hard to find money. So the question of the idea is just the team. I'm personally investing money in, like in startups. For me, the, the, the idea of the business, I don't pay any attention, I just pay attention to the people. Because you can, uh, even with the bad ideas, if you have good people, they will understand it's a bad idea change the business model, change of blah, 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 and they're going to do something super soon. So when you invest money, you just pay attention to people and talents and not of ideas at all. Now look, our idea was completely crazy. Yeah? <laughs> Cookies, uh, I remember, well, I asked one of my friend who was a design, graphic designer, and we had only like kind of paper like that. You know the Nespresso uh, pack for mm -hmm. the coffee cup? Uh, and, we, and we put some a sticker on an espresso. I was doing the Sima Vega, the one investment by cookie company. <laughs> and, and, and a lot of bankers from London invest because they have a lot of money and they want to have money. <laughs> uh, so we have, to, I don't like maybe like 20 bankers from London having so many money they don't want don't know what to do, how they can spend it. So they spend it in, uh, in a clever way and investing in a cookie company. You don't think that the um, investment culture is more conservative in Europe than it is in the United States no. in terms of angel investing or startup investing? Yeah, we're a little bit, we are a little bit behind, but now we have, uh, I think we're Look, we have very successful people like uh, Xavier Niel helping a lot, and, and, and mindset is in the way to change. But I, I never heard any story of a good project not finding money in France. So for me, when you don't find, it's a question of, of the quality of your project on the team, and never, there's a lot of money in France. If you can find money for a cookie company, since you can find for almost everything. <laughs> Are you pursuing funding in the United States? Me? Or angel? No, 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 no. Just finish. <laughs> Any other questions? Mm. So now, and please, so what would you, how can you, you help us? <laughs> uh, in your store, any house, try to find our cookies. If not, send me an email, augustin at michelaugustin.com. I send my sales rep. And in your company, if you're a cafeteria, like for a compass, or Dixo, whatever, give me also an email and I'll do what I can do to bring our cookies to your everyday <laughs> space.
I will just say that's totally true. So retailers, cafeterias, food service, they really respond to what consumers ask of for. Of course. Yeah. So if you go into your local store and you say, I tried these cookies, do you have them? They'll take a note, they'll send it to their you know, buying office, and it's a really good way to, um, to get distribution. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Step by step. And so he doesn't have to hire all those brokers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, in the U.S. I know it's small. Uh, we're going to do between three to five this year, but it's really starting from zero. Uh, huh? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I made my my stuff with the other word. Sorry. We have a very nice deal with Amazon in France, but not here yet. But Amazon for me, it's, uh, it could work when you have a, an awareness of the brand, and as you don't have it here yet, just doing physical stores. <laughs> and when you have the awareness, media, following the story, you can push Amazon, but not too fast for us. Thanks, and welcome to the West <laughs> Personally, it's a person here. Yeah. Merci beaucoup. Merci. We look forward to yeah, the revolution in France, but maybe no kitchens yeah. for stuff. Yeah. And the cookies are delicious, I have to say. So make sure to take them home. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Interesting nice guy. Wow. Yeah, so Do you live in Lake Success or you just work? No, I work. Oh, okay, because I'm not too far. Well, I live in Forest Hills and my dad lives in Pasadena. Oh, okay, yeah. But it's so funny because I've been working in Garden City. I'm out there two days a week for oh, okay. a project. Um, so I'll send you a note. I just oh, wanted to know if you wanted to do yeah. any work. No, I left. I have my own company. No, it's, oh, okay. um, it's a media and tech firm. And I want a big grant from the mayor's office of media and entertainment in October to start the business. And we're literally just trying to sign up two weeks ago. And we're going to announce the issue of our business in July. Yeah, so this week you write um, Luis Castro. Oh, okay. <laughs> Did you work with the I work with the mayor's office of media and entertainment and the New York City Tech Okay, because he works for the mayor, but I No, no, I didn't deal with it. Claire, before you were in the Yeah, okay. Okay. So I did not deal with it. I don't know what it is, but my fighting came down from that. Okay, because my friend, I feel like, oversees the agency. Probably, because why do you think my press release is delayed? Because these quotes are going through, like, multiple people to get approved. And I'm like, it's one, like three sentences in total. But, you know, another problem I'm having is that the mayor's office of media and entertainment has, is on their third commission. Okay, so from the time I started this process, Okay, so the woman left. I can't even remember her name right now, but then Luis was there. Luis is like, there are photos of me and him on the internet, like, you know, smiling. And he's coming. He, kind of, he sent me a LinkedIn message. He's like, God, here's my jeep. I'm like, where are you going? Like, he, he's like, well, they've. It is what it is. Okay. It is what it is. I'm grateful for the attention. Like, I was pitching with, like, I was. It was like all men. And, you know, I don't think New York City needs a liquor app or a laundry app. I'd rather have a cookie at this point. So I went in there with this idea, and I've been in journalism and financial news for a decade. And I left Columbia, I went to journalism school at Columbia, and since 2009,
2005, I lived in about three countries covering global markets and doing specific things within that field. So people keep telling me, you should apply, you should apply. My French is rusty, but I did spend time in Paris as a child. So I just want to know like the benefits. Because yeah. everyone, I hear through the great that it's like, like so great. It's amazing. In my, um, Sewell Chan at the New York Times, he was a young leader. But he's in London now, and he's like, don't just do it. I'm like, I can't just do it. I, I need feedback. Like, so this is for me, because I'm at the point in my career in my life now. I want to give back. You know what I mean? I just don't want to go someplace and network and collect cards. Like, I actually want to do something. I'm the board of this nonprofit. I'm helping on fundraise. Like, I actually want to, like, start paying it forward. Because people have helped me. People have, like, you can just use standing here listening to me. You know, like, people have kind of moved me along in my career. And I think it's time for me to be like, being more proactive. So I just don't want to be a young leader for a line of my life. Like, I want to engage and get something done as well. And this is so great. You were really good. Yeah, this is the cookies are not expensive. I have to pay. 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 Even if you don't like cookies, you'll end up buying one when you see it. Right? So, what do you do? You do his marketing or something? No, no. I work for um, Kate Celestial, which is a big. Oh, okay. Are you his distributor? Is it? No, no, no. I just met him. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. Oh, cool. I gotta figure out because I'm trying to think of where I shop in my neighborhood. I go to like the farmers market. Like I support the local people, but I'll see because we, in Forest Hills we have like two specialty grocers, and I'll ask them. I'll ask them. <laughs> so, maybe he'll be out there soon. But that Starbucks story is so cute. It's so cute. And it's like so real too. That's usually how it happens, right? When you're in bed not thinking about it, the phone rings or something. Are we going back in there or are we done? I, th I think that I think we're done. Oh, okay. I, I, I don't know. Okay, right, one I'll second. let you go. I know you have to talk. Yes. Okay, I'll be okay. in touch. Thank you. This is my friend Jerry. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. And I've been playing being okay. Yeah. 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 Y
Is it owned by by by? We own it. Yeah. 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 We own. We own. We own. We own. Oh, I know. He yeah. just keeps buying. Yeah. 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 Yeah.